November the 28th, 2023. May I kindly ask you to introduce yourself? Uh, my artistic name is, is, is Maria John. Uh, I'm Ukrainian singer, songwriter and multi-instrumentalist. And multi and, uh, and, yeah, that's it. <laughs> You played your own songs today. What are your songs about? Um, I have I have dif different kind of songs. Uh, like I have one about mental issues, self hate, depression. I have um, another song uh, that is about uh, women who have been victims of sexual abuse. I have a song uh, that is about drug dealer, but it's not promoting drugs, but other way around. Uh, so it's a song that uh, is against drugs. Uh, I have also uh, yeah, I have because I have songs in, in, in different styles, so also I have different topics. I have one love song. Oh, no, I have two, two love songs. Yes. How are the reactions of the people while you're playing the music? Uh, the reaction varies a lot uh, from uh, good to bad, or from no reaction at all. Uh, um, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I'm surprised. Uh, I've been doing street music since 1997, so and I am still somehow surprised. Sometimes, sometimes good things happen. How did you become a street musician? Why did you do it? Why did you decide to become a street musician? And how? I didn't decide that. I mean, now I am the one who decides this, but when I was a kid, that was decided by my father. And, uh, so I started when I was six years old, just, just, just when I started to play violin, and already my father pushed me on the street uh, to make some money for family. Was your father a street musician as well? No. But he loved uh, music, classical music. Okay, and, and the money you made, did your father take it or did you keep it? Uh, not really, we would have to give it to father, but sometimes me and my sister, we would hide some, some, some of it for ourselves. <laughs> but you had to hide it, he was not yeah. sharing it with you. Yeah, I, I mean like, he was using this money for the whole family, so, so it's like... Anyway, we would have a food from 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 that money, and when we were when we were traveling to other countries, uh, so uh, of course uh, when we needed to stay in some hostel or to eat food or to pay tickets, so all this money was used. Is your sister also a street musician? Mm -hmm. She was, but from from all of my siblings, I'm the only one who still does it. And to which countries did you travel? Uh, All over Europe? Since 1997, I've been to Poland, uh, Croatia, Slovakia, Slovenia, uh, Portugal, Spain, France, Germany, Ukraine. Uh, Austria and um, yeah, that's all. And in which city? And Romania. Romania. Where were you born? In which city? I was born in Odessa, in in Ukraine. And how are you affected by the war in Ukraine? Me, I am not affected personally, but my family, part of my family, we have two refugees, my mother and my older sister. And uh, 
to have to move to other country to learn a new language and to uh, start a new life. Like for my mother, it was very complicated, and of course, what affects my mother affects me. So my mother, she still dreams of going back to her home, going back to her country, to, because. She never planned to move out. Uh, how cold was it today when you were playing at the main station of Berlin? You know, normally I don't play under six. Minus six? No, under six. Under six, plus six. Uh, uh, under plus six, yes. Uh, but actually I already did minus 20 in Poland with violin. That, that, that was 20. 17 years ago or 15, something like this, yeah. How can you play the violin at minus 20 degrees? How is that possible physically? <laughs> that's, that's a funny question because it's actually, it looks like this, like you play half, half of the music piece, mm -hmm. then you warm up your, your hands, then you finish it. <laughs> Then you warm your hands again, then you start a new one, then in half you stop, you warm it, then you finish, and that's how it is. Like a comedy show. So it's more like a comedy show. Today I saw you freezing, you were freezing, and you were also trying to heat your hands in, in your pockets. So how, how big was the pain today in your hand? Much bigger than, than two days ago. So today the pain was bigger? Yeah, yeah, because like it was already hard to play after 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it was already really hard. And did you feel your finger, or was there a point where you started not to feel your finger anymore? I mean, the the points of, of my fingers uh, sometimes were freezed, so I couldn't. I couldn't feel. Yeah, it was very hard to to press the uh, the strings. The strings, yeah, like, I saw. It was difficult. Yeah, the strings of the guitar. To hit the positions that I need to hit. So it it wasn't the best of performance, obviously. Like in the winter, mm -hmm. it's not the best. But like I'm I'm right now jobless, so that's like one of the things that supports my life independently so I don't have to ask my brother or any other family member so is it allowed to ask how many money did you make today at the session or is that a too private question no it's not private uh, I've made something 20, 20 something euros and that's not okay. enough. And how much is the coffee? Actually, I was lucky. The guy off offered this. this, mm -hmm. this so free coffee plus 20 euros something. Is it average or did you get normally more or less? Normally, of course, more. But you know, when it's freezing, it's not only it, it, it doesn't only affect me. It also affects people on the streets. So they are less likely get out their hands from the pockets and give some money because it's freezing. It's freezing, cold. yeah. And how did you choose the place in front of the main station? Why did you choose this particular square? Because uh, right now it's really cold. So if you can manage to have at least some side, at least shoulder, cover like so no wind then it's easier for you to like extend season you know so, so, so the entrance hall covered you covered your bed yes the, 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 the entrance hall so you adjust the wind from the front and the sides side front wind and side wind but no back wind and wh why don't you play in the metro metro station I have to. I have to go. I will go tomorrow to ask for a permit, but I'm not sure if they allow to play with amplifiers. So mm -hmm. I still have to. I have to look at it. 
And why did you choose the guitar today and not the violin? I don't play violin anymore. I stopped playing violin. Uh, Any reason for that? Seven years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was never an instrument of my choice. And classical music was never music of my choice. It was chosen by my father. And when I grew up and had a possibility to, to, to be myself, or at least to try to, to know what I want, so after some time, uh, I realized that, yeah, I want to be a rock star. And I guess I always wanted to be. <laughs> because like rock music, I listened to it since, since my childhood on the radio. And I had to hide this from my father. But right now when I'm when I'm adult and I can choose whatever life I want and uh, this is this is what I am why did you have to hide it from your father that you like rock music um, our father had this some idea that he chose for that we have to be classical musicians and the best ones and that's what he wanted for us but I, I, I guess many families have many kids have such parents uh, maybe not nowadays because now it's considered abuse uh, and I agree with this because I believe that the child has to has to have supportive parents who support uh, their interests uh, because they might have talent in something else and you don't see it if you don't develop it then it's too late I had a talent for dancing but, uh, and for acting and my family never like my father he never he never let me discover this so and for dancing it's now too late Maybe for acting, not. But anyway, I already know who I want to be. And so, what? Which musicians wanted your father you to play? Uh, like, which classical music? Which composers? Which composers did you have to play? It's not about composers. It's it's more like uh, he he wanted me to be like Pagani. Mm -hmm. um, Did you play Mozart? And I, and Did you play I wanted Mozart? to be like Beatles. That's a huge difference. <laughs> But you played like Mozart or Beethoven? Uh, you know, I don't know how I played. Like in school, I was told that I have talent, uh, but I don't believe in talents that were taught by teachers, you know. Mm -hmm. I believe that talents are those things that you learn by, by yourself. Uh, so anyone who became prodigy with the uh, help of a teacher, I don't consider this person a prodigy. Uh, so I don't remember how I played. Uh, there is one recording on YouTube, but I was good enough, but you know, when you're not interested, when you don't practice, it doesn't matter how many people believe in, believe in your talent, it dies, it dies, it withers away, and, uh, and in my case, it was the best, the best choice I did for my life. What was the best choice? to stop playing instrument that I'm not interested in playing music that I have no intention to to make like it's, it's not my thing so you just want to play the music you like yeah or you want to have the freedom to play the music you like yes I want to have a freedom and I'm glad I have this freedom now and um, so you prefer to be a street musician earning 20 bucks a day but you can play the music you like instead of like being forced of being a violin player and 
you were forced to play the music you dislike, but maybe you could make more money with being a violin player, maybe for orchestra or something like that. You know what? No, I don't think I don't think it's that so dramatic like you explained this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I had some takeoffs of my music career that uh, if certain people would give me the chance, I might be on some other level. Uh, but I will fight until the end and I don't think uh, what is right now, it's just a temporary moment. Uh, and right now, while I'm looking for a normal job so I can like make some pause from street music and actually write new songs because I need it. So. So right now I only consider this like last days of the season because already next week I will not be playing on the street anymore. So this is the last week. The last week. What will you do after next week? Well, the season is over and uh, I will have to go to a normal job and in all my free time I will have to use it for writing new songs. And have you anything in mind that you will work after next week? Which new normal job? Anything in your mind? First, I will look for jobs that interest me more than, than any job. Like First, I will try to... Because I'm a, I'm, I'm a photographer also and I'm starting doing video. So I will try to look for... Uh, photo production and uh, video production job, maybe as an assistant, like help for, for someone who is doing this. Um, also, uh, I will be looking for a job in some music studio, or if I can manage to find some producer that might need the help of some song songwriter who can write songs just like this in five minutes uh, then I'm able to, to do this so I will be looking for this kind of job but you know this kind of jobs normally you don't find them without having contacts you know so it's not gonna be easy so if I will not find any of these jobs that interest me then I will just uh, find any any job like working in Einstein Cafe or, or in some restaurant. Uh, and what is your plan for the future, long term? My plan for the future is to become a recording music artist. Recording and touring music artist. I want to be a rock star, I want to play concerts all around the world. I want to, before I finish my career, I, I, I want to record, I don't know, four or five albums. I want to have at least five years, five years full of stable, stable income through the music, not through other things, just through the music and legal and with a possibility to perform my own music. This is what I want. Um, I will be fighting until until the end. There's no end. <laughs> is there anything you would like to add? Any uh, final message? Anything you would like to mention to say? I mean, yeah, maybe for other people who just who take off later in their life, like me, I'm 32 now, and uh, there will be people trying to show you that you're too late for this, too old. And, but it's really important never to listen to, to this not supportive voices. And just listen to yourself and do whatever you want. Believe in yourself and never give up even when you should give up. Never give up. Thank you so much.
Thank you for taking the time for the interview. Thank you. 